Hey guys, tonight I am going to review a fountain pen. It's uh, a pretty unknown um, company outside of Europe, I guess, but he, it's German made. But here it's quite popular, especially the rollerball versions. I had a rollerball version of this brand. You can read in the video description. I had a rollerball of the online company when I was about 12 years old. I did like it, but I think I broke it or I lost it. So, I have gotten into the fountain pen um, hobby quite a while ago. And now, on my channel, I will do occasionally some fountain pen videos because I just want to get some information out. So this German company is called Online and the model is not really available on the official website. It's called uh, Piccolo. The Online Piccolo. And there it is. Now, this graphic on there seems pretty gay, don't you think? Bunch of rainbow colors and bubbles. I bought it on eBay for three euros and seventy five cents. I think that's about four dollars and fifty cents, somewhere around that. It came with a standard international car short cartridge. And uh yeah, let's just jump into it. So the graphic it's not very very well done. It seems like a sticker when you look uh, close. And uh, the clip, well the clip it does its job very good. It's snappy but if I would use a little bit more force I would snap it. But it seems sturdy to, to a reasonable point. I would really have to use much force uh, to break it, but I don't want to. So uh, I don't know if you can see that. It says Germany online, and on the clip it says online as well, and it has a nice mirror finish or chrome color or something. Now you can see how small this pen is. Um, here's a Lamy Vista next to it. So you can see how small that is. This is my hand. My hand is pretty large. Oh, well, yeah. So it's not a big pen. And I kind of knew that because it said Piccolo and Piccolo is Italiano um, for small or something like that. But the good thing, or to say the great, great thing with this fountain pen is the tail, the tail is there, and the head. Now, post it. This fits perfectly. Now, it would be a nice touch if the graphics would sort of um, ease into each other, but the cap doesn't really fit to the to the pattern here. Doesn't matter. But now, that's the Lamy Vista uncapped. It's even a little bit bigger than the Lamy Vista. Huh. How about that? The nib, well, is a little dirty because I just rolled with it. Let's clean it up. The nib says online, it's a stainless steel nib, and it seems to be medium. Pretty sure, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's equivalent to the Lamy medium nibs. Um, the feet you can pull out, it has a hole and a breather hole in front, on the front. Yeah. The grip section is somehow translucent, you can make out the feed under it. 
and I don't think this crappy webcam will do it justice but there are some uh, yeah like cutouts right there and there so uh, when you write like a normal person and not like a retard you use your thumb and your pointer and rest it on your middle finger so it's it's very comfortable to hold it's a uh, it's a light pen it's with a full ink cartridge comes about 11 grams now I didn't convert that to um, ounces because I just don't have the time so uh, this pen is made out of plastic completely the inside is yellow of the cap inside of the cap and uh, yeah so far yeah it's really sturdy but it just feels light it feels a little bit cheap not too cheap though because it's it's really yeah it feels like well built plastic let's just say that and uh, I really really like it for three euros and 75 cents come on you can't get better than that there are of course cheaper pens out there and uh, better pens some Chinese brand pens for example but this is German pensmanship this is German yeah labor that was put into that because it's Germany made as far as I could make out they are not made in China not made in Indonesia they are made in Germany and for under five US dollars can't go wrong with that now uh, back to the graphic just real quick before I forget it it was noted under hippie slash flower theme there were uh, uh, two other themes they were, were called burning heart one was deep red and another one was I think pinkish something like that I thought this would look not too bad a little bit gay for my taste but hey what the fuck huh I uh, I will use this in my coat pocket, in my lab coat pocket. I work in the hospital. I have a doctor's coat, and uh, it's very, very good. Si it's a very good size for carry. So this would be a great EDC option for you guys. Now, if you don't know what EDC is, it's everyday carry. You can just Google it, and uh, you you will hit a million uh, different sites. So. Uh, I just have a book right here. This is how the pen looks inside the pocket. This is what you see outside of the pocket. That's not too bad. Especially if you have um, some smaller uh, pockets on your shirt. And uh, if I would write with this pen uncapped, it would look like this. It's really not big at all it's very yeah that's just something that mi that, that's missing and that's the cap cap is essential for this pen and even posted it writes very 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 good it's not back heavy or something because the cap itself is it's very light I didn't uh, put this on the scale but I think it's not more than three or four grams and all in all it weighs eight, 11 grams so uh, I will just uh, try something here and show you some writing. So can you see the paper? I sure hope so. No, this is just um, basic notebook paper. It's 70 grams per square meter and it's what I basically use every day and uh, that will do just fine. I think everybody has some kind of notebook with this kind of paper so I will just show you. Now, this pen is from the German company called Online.
it cost me three euros and seventy five cents. Now the sound you may hear sounds a little bit scratchy, but it doesn't feel like it. It writes fairly smooth, lays a nice wet patch of ink. There's also some line variation. I saw that some of the uh, yeah no it doesn't write anymore ha <laughs> ha fail I just need a drop of ink on the nib so a little trick right there completely for free and it will write again yay look at that and it writes a little bit better so uh just needed some ink right there. So, if you can see that, yes, you can. It writes really, really nice, and especially for the price, you can't argue with this pen. It's very, very nice. It looks, yeah, a little bit stupid, but that's just, you know, the motive on there, the theme. That's you can swap it. Up. You can you can take uh, black sharpie and black and all that if you think that's better. But I really like this pen, and I will carry this every day at least for the next uh, few weeks. I have some other pens that I like to review. Again, the comparison to a Lamy Vista. Here I have a Lamy All Star, basically the same pen, just for size comparison. And again, capped. A very, very good size, very good pocket size. I like it that they just shortened the barrel for portability, for increased portability. I really really like that. So uh, that will be all for today and uh, if you enjoyed this fountain pen review I will have some more in the future. Have a good night. Goodbye.